Hello, this is Lindsay Ruth. I'm gonna be making a liquify tutorial today. This is a video I've been wanting to make for quite a while, and it's a really cool, fun, creative thing to do with your portraits. Before we start out, I wanna note just a couple things that are gonna make this process both easier and look better. I really, really suggest using a touchpad for this. I personally have the Wacom one, the small one. It was really inexpensive. I've had it for years. It's been great. What this is gonna do is just help replicate the organic motion of your hand. What makes this look good is when it looks as flowy and organic as possible. You don't want it to look like it's digital, like digitally made. So having the touchpad makes it easier because you can actually utilize the flow in the motion of your hand to make this curve. The second thing, and this might seem like a given, is to really pay attention to the composition of your image. Uh, another thing that makes this look good is when it flows with the image instead of kind of starkly sticking out in a weird way. So I suggest kind of pre-planning a bit um, and just kind of following rule of thirds, things like that in order to create cool compositions with this. So let's get started. The thing about this is it's a lot more simple than I think a lot of people realize. I always start by selecting out my subject, making sure this layer looks okay. I'm gonna fix it just a little bit because with the white shirt, the select subject didn't work perfectly. Just using my quick mask to make sure this looks okay. And once I'm happy with my selection, I'm gonna duplicate this layer twice um, with Command J. And the reason I do it twice is because we're gonna mess with this under the middle layer, so that way the top layer is still on top and your person won't look all weird. You'll see what I mean in a second. So after I have this middle layer selected, I'm gonna go into Filter, Liquify. I like to work from a little bit further back. I find that this is just easier and you can kind of have more room to draw with your hand. And just using this regular forward warp tool, with about these settings, not, doesn't have to be super exact, but whatever you feel works for you. I like to pull in diagonals. I find that that looks the best and most natural compositionally, so that's what I'm gonna do. So just with a big brush, I'm gonna just pull this image, really utilizing the natural flow of my hand. And like, obviously her face looks really weird, but we're gonna ignore that and we're gonna fix that later. And I'm really gonna just pull this, and kind of drag it around however I want, trying to avoid any jagged edges, making sure everything looks really nice and natural. And then I'm just gonna do the same on the other side. Kind of just pulling it out randomly. And there we go, not perfect. We have to do a couple things to fix it. Obviously, we don't want that face there. So just using my pen tool, I'm gonna literally just delete that. Um, so I selected that, deleted that. Um, I don't know if you can see here, but we accidentally dragged the leg a little bit. So I usually will just go in with my eraser tool and erase any other parts that may have gotten messed up. So that's it, it's really simple. I'm gonna show you a couple different ways you can do it just to have some fun, because why not? Um, so I'm gonna start over, duplicate my layer twice. I'm gonna go into this middle layer and I'm gonna show you how to do a weave through the person where it's kind of weaving around them. So opening liquify, dragging really similar to how we did before. And by really similar, I mean exactly the same. I don't know, add in some extra squiggles this time, because why not? Gonna fix this layer a bit using my pen tool to delete it. And then what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna have the other squiggle kind of weave in and out of her leg. So I'm gonna go back into my liquify menu. And basically I'm going to drag out a little lump. <laughs> Cause what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna isolate this. So I'm just gonna select that command J into a new layer. And then using the show backdrop and mess with these just so you can see your image, I'm basically going to create a little zigzag pattern kind of in and out of her leg. So I'm gonna do that one more time maybe just for fun. And then just drag this back out. And we're gonna readjust this as we go. So now I'm just gonna clean up my image. And I don't really want this like hand section, so I'm just gonna go in with my pen tool and fix that. 
might have to try again. This is also a good opportunity to tell you one thing to avoid. So you see here, the lump looks kind of like it doesn't look like a perfect curve. I always try to make them into really, really perfect curves because I feel like when it's really lumpy is when it starts to look too digital. Um, and that's what really takes away from the moment. So I kind of fixed it a bit. Once I'm happy with my squiggles, what I do is I select that squiggle layer and I click on the top layer and I just simply erase out parts of it. So now it looks like it's weaving. I'm gonna do one final one for you guys. We're gonna start just like how we start all of them. And instead of liquefying the whole thing, I'm gonna do like little mini squiggles. So I'm only gonna select a little part of that, create a new layer, go into liquefy, and then just drag only this one part out. And then I'm just gonna do this same process a couple more times kind of paying attention to how I want them to move with each other. So, I don't know, I'm kind of just freestyling this at this point. And then you could repeat this on the other side. It looks pretty similar, but it's a little bit different, I guess. You get a little bit of pizzazz. Maybe I'll do like one more just for fun. Yeah, so just one more method. That's all, it's really simple. And if you do anything with this, please, please show me. I would love to see it. My Instagram is linked below. Have a great day. Let me know anything else you wanna see. Mwah.